Unless you've been living in a cave, you've probably been seeing a few QR codes around the place. That's what that code is there on that bin. Uh, and one of the re reasons that QR codes are so successful is that they're very easy to make. For those of you who've seen them but don't actually know quite what they do, that pattern of um, squares is something that you can point your mobile phone at if you've got a smartphone, you know, an iPhone or an Android phone, and it will decode it. It will get you information out of it. Sometimes it's just text and often it's a link out to a website. So you might be at a bus stop and rather than them printing the information about the bus stop or in addition to it, you can perhaps go straight through to the website and see what the most recent version of the timetable is. So it's for that sort of thing. You can get apps for your phones. Uh, they're of course available for the iPhone and this is a, one of many apps that does it. And you can get it for Android phones and I bet you can get it for all kinds of devices. They're really, really common. So let's have a quick look at how we go about creating one of these codes because these can be quite useful for school. So I'm just going to Google and I'm going to type in create QR code. Now I do have a kind of favourite site here um, and it's actually... Where is it? That one here, QR stuff I find to be quite good, but there's heaps of them. And the reason I Google it rather than bookmarking it is that there's new sites all the time. So I want to be open to what's coming. So I wait for this site to open. There it is. As you can see down the side, there's all kinds of things that you can put in it. Um, you can put in an iTunes link or a Facebook link or a Twitter link. In this particular case, I'm just going to put plain text. And so I'm typing in, this is the text that I want people to see. There we go. And over on the side, that thing there is the actual QR code. So I can download it, and it's downloading in the corner of my screen, and I can now paste that into a Word document. I can print it, I can put it in an electronic document, I could put it on the table, I could put a menu in it, I could do a treasure hunt with it. I could put it on the bottom of a worksheet so that students could look up the answers at the end. I could put it into things to get more information. It's really very powerful. So QR codes are much easier than you think. Very easy to make. Keep them in mind.